Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Franco. One of the things that I am surprised about our state of the science regarding diabetes and all its complications, I have lost several patients in this past 12 months. And as a consequence of having lost a good friend of mine to cancer, uh, precisely 24 of December of last year, I promised myself that I was going to do something that it was going to uh, diminish the horrendous condition diabetes is. Therefore, I was, thank God, I was fortunate to have found this man. This man is an electronics engineer. Uh, I am an ambientalist. Uh, I am an environmentalist. And as a result, that I am uh, doing a job on um, covering uh, eight and a half kilometer river with uh, 500 and some trees, uh, I found this man. He's um, uh, superintendent to maintenance to the uh, education department, regional educational department. And I found out that he, he has been uh, suffering from complicated diabetes condition as a consequence of the, I'm sorry, the expression, the lousy uh, approach that the medical profession has regarding the use of insulin and so on. Uh, this man gave me the opportunity to apply something I found out some time back at the School of Medicine here in Torreon, Coahuila, University of Coahuila in Mexico. And uh, back then, I had the opportunity to integrate a couple of uh, intents to make a stupid uh, statement from my part regarding uh, vegetable insulin. I have another way to call it because it has this, the, the same effect that insulin, however, is made well, back then it was only four or five plants. Now this was has seven. So I combine it with another combination that I have uh, regarding overweight. And I was uh, very fortunate to have found the solution to this man's problem, curing his diabetes. I'm in the process of uh, securing someone who's going to certify him as a non-diabetic individual after almost five years of suffering from diabetes. Happy New Year, 2014. Thank you so much.